And welcome back to our blind first playthrough of KOTOR, Knights of the Old Republic. And we are back on the Ebon Hawk, but we're on Manan, and I want to go get some swoop race on. I think we um, might get this guy's bike or something when we go back. But first of all, we have to get off of the ship, and I want to try a little trick here that somebody suggested. I've been trying to talk to our, our boy here and get him repaired, and I know I don't want to have to do my repair all the way up. Now, maybe I have to, but why would I... Specifically in each game, the only way that you can talk to this guy is if you repair him fully. Well, I thought this ex this droid here had uh, excellent repair skills, so let's give this a shot real quick. Um, it was suggested if I just switch to the other character, like that I might kind of absorb his repair skills. And uh, before we even level up, let's just see if we can uh, do that real quick. Why don't we talk to him? Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Stop calling me Master. Uh, let's try restoring some of your memories. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master... Well, mine aren't. ...then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Uh, are you implying I'm inept? <laughs> um, well, I am. So let's just try. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. Now, oh, so, okay. what are you doing, Master? So, that is my hmm, motor Maybe cord. we'll put a point Stop. in a repair or two and see, you know, how high we have to get. Perhaps it would be best if you desisted your efforts for the moment, me I mean, Master. This seems to be going nowhere. It's interesting. I just have a feeling the things we're going to find out about him aren't going to be good. So, um, you know, very well. We'll try this As again you later. Desire, Master. I cannot help but claim a small amount of relief. Signing off. I wonder if we could just, like, keep trying and trying and trying. Either way, you know what? Since we have these guys out here, let's do our level up real quick. And skills. What is he doing? Computer awareness, repair, security. What are they recommending? Computer use. Yes. Demolitions, repair, security, all of it. Perfect. And we get droid upgrade class three. Perfect. <laughs> I like that the, the auto upgrades um, on these guys. By the way, yeah, the droid robot, he's right in the middle T3 M4. I think we need to be more in the middle. Like we are a little too light side, but I'm not going to do dark side things just for the sake of it. Um, but we have a little bit of leeway if we do run into something that uh, we want to do and we're worried about it. So, you know, it's the middle path is the way to go, I believe. Now for my guy here... Repair allows a character to fix. Well, this is this guy, right? The robot. Um, awareness, repair. What do they want? Repair and computer use. I mean, awareness could be. Ah, uh, we're fine. We're fine. I think they just did that too, right? Because they're all pluses. Whatever. Uh, we're accepting it. Enjoyed upgrade class three. Fine. Very dark there, HK47. Nowhere near the middle. Maybe we can bring him up. Maybe we cannot. But this is not the crew that I wanted to go uh, swoop racing with. Not that they're going to do the racing I am. But who do we want? I should have some people to talk to and switch it up a bit. Um, Ron Manan. You know, let's go with Jahani. And this guy always com complains about not being in on anything. So we'll uh, we'll bring him with us. Maybe we get a little conversation. Lots to do, lots to do. And another quick level up. Let's see here, what are you asking for? Treat injury versus awareness, stealth, computer. I think... I think we go with an awareness up again. And feats, what are they recommending? Or what do we want? Because we're doing shooting. Rapid fire, master shot. Sniper, we got the pistol all the way up. Because he's a pistol maniac. Uh, improved toughness. Can we add that? Yeah, we're going to do that. And then Jahani. She has two remaining points. And we've been into awareness, treat injury. She has some stealth, but um, I don't know that I'm using stealth as much. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should be. But uh, let's just go to recommended. We'll do that. Beats, what is recommended? Specialization lightsaber, yes. Had I not gotten that one yet? 
Uh, sounds good. Except powers. Now we have healing. We're going to have to get into some of these force energy resistance. What is the one that stops us from being dominated? Is it Night Valor? Force Suppression. Here, Force Aura. Activated the Jedi is temporarily granted a plus two bonus to defense and all saving throws. You know, I think we want Night Speed. I've been enjoying that because you get an extra attack, don't you? One attack per round is gained, and defense is increased by four. I don't see why we wouldn't want to do that. Uh, although, Force Valor, let's see here. The power increases the physical attributes and saving throws. Uh, Night Valor grants immunity to poison. And this one over here uh, replaces the bonuses granted by Night Valor, grants immunity to poison. And our saving throws. So it's not a bad thing, but long as one of us has it, oh, it's just kind of, you know. Anyways, I'm going to go with the second attack, night speed for now. So we're going to add the power and do it. And I believe we're good. Yes. It always takes a little bit of, you know, working out. This game, you know, there's stats on it and stuff. Can't help it. Can I warp back to our spot? You know what? I don't want to. I We didn't go that far anyway. Let's just walk through. And see who we see. Karth! Karth Onassi, is that you? Awesome. Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your friend here, eh? How's it going? Me our own, just slash him. <laughs> I'm recognizing the voice from somewhere. Uh, can we hurry this up? You're a friend of Karth's, I take it. Nice to meet you, Jordo. I'm gonna say nice to meet you, Jordo. So what are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on, uh, well, Telos, actually. Yeah, it's a shame about home. Telos still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... Uh, what I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean... Oh? Dustle? Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban. Though he didn't recognize me. You didn't know he was there? No. Jordo, Dustle's been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you... are you absolutely awesome. certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustle anywhere. Positive. He's, um... He's joined the Sith, Garth. What do you mean he's joined the Sith? There's an academy for the Sith on Korriban. I heard he's about a it. student there. I saw him suited up in their outfit and everything. Sorry, I thought you knew. No, no, I, I didn't. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordo. Sure, no, no problem. Good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Dustal is alive. We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy sure, and find Sure, of course him. we do. Uh, we're there. I understand we'll go as soon as possible. Thank you. I, I, I just have to see him. I have yeah, to no know kidding. what happened to him. Yep. All this time I thought he was... I mean, he must be a man by now. That is crazy. I'm going to read the journal for that one. Now, I wonder, he's either there because he's so messed up. Um, you know, that he's like angry and all that stuff and his mom died. He has no father. Or he's there trying to infiltrate so that he can uh, some do some stuff. You know, let's see. Where am I going? Journal, journal. Thinking my brain. Korriban, you ran into an old friend of Karth's who stunned the Karth, who stunned the Karth, <laughs> with the news that he had seen Karth's son Dustil. The only hitch seems to be that Dustil has joined the Sith. He is a student at the Sith Academy in Korriban. Korriban, uh, Karth has urged you to go there at the earliest opportunity. And we will. Another reason I'm super, super stoked that uh, we are walking and doing this. I might not have been able to, like, warp forward anyway. Now, here's the trick, though. I don't know, are we going to run into uh, Darth Bandon anytime soon? And do we go left here? Yes, to West Central. We haven't run into him yet, but is it a random encounter? I don't know. Are we prepared for it? I don't know. Um, when we do, though, I plan on, like, really putting a commitment in and trying to take him out, so... Let's see if anybody else has anything to say here. This is our Pizak player, I believe. 
it's good to remember where we're at. Maybe he's somebody we uh, get a contract out on at some point to double up. I like the aesthetic of this place. I think it's nice looking. Uh, we also what met the Jenaheridan, and now we have contracts to go after that. I believe we're this way. I took a couple days between uh, recording the last video and this one, so I'm kind of like re-getting my bearings a little bit, you guys. Hopefully not too lazy about it. Oh, is this more people going off? Or No, that's just Republic. By the Jenna Haridan guy. There's some Sith. Now, where was... Let's check our map here. Okay, so we've been to the shop. We've been to the visitor's hotel. Which something's going on there. We're going to have to find out at some point. There's the Republic Enclave, which he asked us to do some stuff. We're going to have to go back and do that. Um, but I sometimes role playing wise, I don't want to just like pick up all the missions and agree. Yeah, I'll do everything. Yeah, I'll do everything. I don't know if there's consequences if that's gonna push off other things. And just let me figure it out for myself, please. You know, that's part of the the blind playthrough aspect. So I'm just gonna kind of go with my instincts and see. Most likely, we're just gonna head back and talk to that guy and pick up that mission because it's probably the only path forward. But until we know that for sure, you know. Or the only light path, but he seems a little shady too. But, you know, it's the middle path we're aiming for. So where is it? Over here? Let's just double check. Swoop rack track uh, registration. No, we are not going that way yet. I remember now. We talked to some people over here. This is the Sith lady. Now we're heading for the swoop. Swoop, swoop. That's what I say. Alright. What's up, you guys? Where was he? I don't remember here. Swoop fan, swoop fan. We got Xena. She's a peach. Here's our guy. What's up, dude? Queedle. Hello again. I still can't believe the difference a few upgrades makes. My score is top of round three. I never thought I'd be able to do that. Before I go any further, though, I have to return the money you gave me. The prize I won covered most of it. You keep it. Use it for more upgrades. Thank you. I knew you would do well. You owe me more. It's called interest. Um... Thank you, I knew you would do well. You did? I didn't. I was worried the whole time. I didn't believe it until I heard my time. Thank you again for all of this. I want to ask you about uh, you and racing. How much do you know about Manan? We've lived here for more than 10 years. I worked in the big purification and processing plants here before leaving my home world of Ando. In all that time, I've learned very little about the Selkath and their way of life. They don't like off-worlders much, even if their politics are neutral. I can't get used to the Sith presence here, but everyone is interested in Manan to some degree. It's all because of the Kolto. Yes, the kind of drug the spice must flow on a wet planet. Uh, what do you know... What do you know about the Colto? I know that you need it to make med packs, and I know Manan is the only place to get it. That's all anyone knows, I think. Uh, let's ask about you and racing one more time. Is there? I, we need to find upgrade parts. Well, things may have turned around for me luckwise, but I'm sure if I really know all that much more than I did before. Right. Well, that's kind of the point. Let's get out of here. Anything you like. You helped me more than enough. Uh, let's get out of here. I'll see you around the track. So, what I'm wondering though is where the hell do we buy the upgrades? Um, let's talk to Small. Greetings again, will you be racing today? They're always looking for serious competition for the established riders. You know what, let's um... Let's get one. Very well, but before we place your swoop in the starting position, I must collect the 100 credit fee. Persuade, lowering the fee would encourage new racers? We could try. Success, I would tend to agree. We already already have a number of racers that are struggling. I will drop the fee to 50 credits. Let's go. We'll see how we do with this. A very good off-worlder. Now we must determine what time you will be trying to beat. Let's have a look at the standings. Maybe we have to fail before we find a way to, to like, get it. Uh, Cassandra Matiel is your opponent for this round. Her time is 23 seconds. Uh, 23.25 seconds, right? Racing fans, your attention. A new challenger will now attempt to unseat Cassandra Matiel. Let them hear you. Sure, it's her. The crowds will roar. I gotta remember, how do we do this again? You gotta, like, shift with... It's fun. I mean... Reminds me of old pod racer stuff. Let's 
still got it though. We might have hit one thing. <laughs> yeah, it's like Oh, we gotta get an upgrade at some point. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, that got some attention, didn't it? Uh, winners of the first round are paid 500 credits. It's enough to cover your expenses, but you'll have to keep racing to really make it pay. We'll record this for future reference and wish you well on your attempt to reach Sector Champion. I'm ready to race. I want to talk about the rewards. Um, You know, I, let's try one more, just until we fail. Very well, we'll... But before we place your swoop, there's a $100 fee. We can't talk on it. Let's just give 100 Very good off-worlder. Now let's determine what time. Uktar Jax is your opponent. His time is 22.50 is your mark. I trust you are ready. Manon Race Fans, a new contender, now addresses the time of Hukta Jax. A race to end all races beginning now. Well, I don't know that we'll make it. If I don't make it, we're going to wait for upgrades. Trying to gear up there. It gets tricky with the stuff in between it. No, we're gonna try one more time because I wasn't gearing up enough. How many tries do you have to? It takes a hundred every try, huh? Boo! Well, they're all gonna boo me for not getting it. I think I. It's like I have to constantly be pulling the trigger to catch the. Um, Catch the shift. It's a little funny. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Your pro performance just now was not of very high quality. You need to improve. <sighs> you know what? Um, I'll be back later. Very well. I'll tell the organizers to have the course ready for your return. Net change. Credits received 350. Yeah, because I paid too much. <laughs> I won't talk to this guy. Uh, Queedle. Hello again. I still can't believe the difference. Um, I'm sure it won't stand as a record for long, but I have to thank you for this opportunity. I appreciate all you did for me. Now nah, let's get out of here. He's not the one. What about Xena? Hey, you're not bad. Maybe if you win a couple races, I might be glad to have, to have talked to you. Swoop Racer. Who is this other guy down here? See, just another racer. It's this little... Hello there. Are you looking to book the swoop course for a practice run? Uh, small positioning fee. I want an officially timed race. I'm ready for a practice fun. Run fun. A practice fun, too. Why is there a fee? No thanks. No, we're out of here for now. As much as I love the swoop racing and I want to continue it, I understand we have to... Up as soon as we can upgrade our bike, we'll be doing better. Much, much better. <laughs> Uh, let's keep exploring this place. Did I go to the left yet? That's way. That's east. Track registration. We want to go up and forward. Just kind of. We want to explore a little bit. Ooh, who's this Han Solo looking dude? Oh, Merc. What's Sorry, up, Merc? but you're too late to recruit me. I've we just talked tired to him last time, right? Sith. Of course, if the Republic has a better offer. Uh, you'd work for the Sith. They're evil. I'm not a recruiter. And why are you bothering me? I'm here on Manan to find work as a mercenary. I'm not here to chat with tourists. Very good. Then we'll we'll trust you at that. All right. Let's. You know what? Let's just talk to Jahani for a minute, since I was on her. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Padawan. Wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Uh, what are you thinking about? I have been thinking much about our journey. And I am grateful and honored that you have accepted me with you. I am not used to such unbiased acceptance from one who is nearly a stranger to me. We Cathar do not make friends easily, or for long. Even on Dantooine I remained alone. Not ostracized exactly, but separate. Okay, uh, tell me about your people. I believe these are all new things, right? Um, you should be right at home when I turn my back on you. I'm going to say... Um, it must have been difficult for you. Yes, it was. I find it difficult to speak of those things. I do not want to live that way ever again. And here, it seems different. It is... it is warming. I feel almost welcome. Needed. You seem to be very decisive when it is required of you. 
It is reassuring to know that I can count on someone like you. Very nice. Uh, it's only because I haven't found a way to ditch you yet. I like how they switch around. You can't just keep hitting A through everything. Uh, it is nice that you hold me in such high regard. We're all in this together. You could try counting on one of the others, you know. We're all in this together. Is yes, what I'm gonna say. and that is my point. I find it difficult to explain. It is so different from what I'm used to. Just thank you for accepting me. Absolutely. But is she wearing clothes? I was just wondering. <laughs> um, what do we got here? What is she in? I have her. Do I have her in Kalonord's battle armor? Why the hell would I do that? Oh, maybe I had. No, no, no. She's on a Jedi Knight robe. Sorry, it's just the red sir hitting on me there. Um, I don't necessarily love the look of it though. I like these. I like these dark ones. It's a two and a plus eight, so it doesn't matter. It's only aesthetics. I don't know. Does wearing a a dark Jedi robe? <laughs> They don't call it a dark Jedi robe, they just call it a Jedi robe. So we're going to go with that. What do we have here? Energy shield, strength equipped. We've got her lightsaber, which I think now we have um, uh, crystals in. So, yes. very good. How about you, Karth? What do you need? Do you want to talk? about what? The only thing I want to do right now is find Dustal. That's what I was alive, wondering. There's just nothing else I want to think about. I'll understand if we can't look for him right now, but if we could, it would be a huge load off my mind. All right, we'll take Karth's huge load off his mind. All right, what is what is this way? Just a door? Oh, no. What is going... Oh, Yot Yortal's Emporium. I, I say we go here first. You got any armor plating for my swoop bike? There we go. Yes, I have a fine piece right here. A little dented, but still serviceable. And a real bargain at that price. Swoop, swoop. I thought this garbage was free. You actually sell this junk? You fish are a strange breed. Get out of my store. I'm sick of you, Sith, and your stupid jokes. I've got real customers to worry about. I don't need you coming in here and making fun of my inventory every day. Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back. Oh, damn Sith. You can tell they're Sith by their accents. That's what I say. Uh huh. Anybody with that type of accent? None. <laughs> uh, let's see here. You. You're tall, Ixless. You're just the fish I've been looking for. Wait, no, it's not fish. It's, you know, okay. slug. Are you here to mock me as the Sith? Do you actually want to buy something? Will, will they let us mock him? I'm not here to make fun of you. I'm Idaho. Uh, I'm interested in buying something. Maybe I'll come back when you're in a better mood. With an attitude like that, it's no wonder you have no customers. Uh, watch your tone. You'll be looking for some replacement limbs. Uh, do -do -do. I'm not here to make fun of you. I'm Idaho. I don't know about that. Uh, I'm interested in buying something. Please forgive me. I had no cause to be so rude to you. The Sith makes such trouble for me and the business has been slow. But this is no excuse for my tone. I apologize. Please let us start off on the right foot. Welcome to the used goods of Yortal Ixlis. If there is anything I can help you with, all you need to do is ask. I'd like to look at your inventory. I need swoop bike parts. Of course, human. My stock is all secondhand, and some of it has minor damage. But with the repairs I've done to them, my items are as good as new for a fraction of the price. Okay, I don't know that we're finding what we want here, but... Targeting Verpine Demolitions Probe. Wartime contracts over the last 40 years uh, saw a great deal of money poured into the Verpine Droid Modification. Particularly in the area of demolitions, a droid must have a basis. Basic demolitions software paid points into the skill to benefit from this item. Security interface tools, uh, security skill plus two. Oh, environmental shields, gravity generator. What? Uh, oh, droid on hit slowed nine seventy five percent for nine seconds. So it's a consumable item. Flamethrower stun ray. Oh man, still no swoop swoop. And don't tell me, like, part of this is me trying to figure this out myself. Like, I can run around and we can do some edits if I want to at some point. Um, let's get out of here. This, let me talk to him one more time. Welcome, come in. I've heard you're a swoop racer. 
You'll find it here at your all secondhand shop. What did I just... As you wish, human. I, will he say it again? Hold on. Is there anything I can help you with? Oh, man. I fear I will be little help in providing information, human. I spend most of the time here in my shop or out collecting inventory. I skipped over whatever the swoop thing was. And at night I am too exhausted to do anything but return home and sleep in preparation for the next day. I will do my best to answer your questions, but I cannot promise to be of much help. I'm looking for some ancient ruins or possibly some type of star map. Uh, how did you come to run a junk pile? Or a uh, used goods shop? How about that? Ah, yes, that. Well, not always in such dire straits. In fact, once I would have been quite well off, but the Sith had other plans. Well, technically my debt to the Zerka Corporation, but that amounts to the same thing in the end. You owe them money? How did you get in debt? You owe them money? Yes, my debt to them is quite large, I fear, and it will be no easy task to repay it. I need money to pay them off, but I cannot find work anywhere in the Zerka, anywhere the Zerka Corporation has influence. So they put me here, fixing scraps and selling them for little profit. In time, in years, I will be able to repay my debt, but for now I must work. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, how about more questions, maybe? I guess we could... Well, we'll ask him about the, the ancient ruins. I know of no such thing in Otto City. This is the only city of Anmanan suited to non Selkath. The oceans are the ancestral home of their people. If there are any ancient ruins of their culture, they would lie there. Okay, well, like, obviously, we, we saw it underwater. So, let's check his inventory one more time. But with repairs, did he... He didn't just, like, add something on there, did he? By mentioning the swoop. No? Okay, okay. Well, let's get out of here for now. I'll figure this out. We will figure this out. It's not the highest priority, is it? Oh, there's some Sith. We are trying to not get into it with people, but what is over here? You know what? Let's check our map. Uh, Sith base. Yeah, why would the hell do we, would we want to go to the Sith base yet? Uh, swoop track registration. So we don't want to go to the Sith base. Um, maybe we talk? Sith diplomat? Only people who have business with the Sith are allowed inside the embassy. Okay, well, what kind of business? Um, I have business. Do we? No. I want to ask you some questions. You can ask, but I doubt you'll get many answers you'll like. We're out. Go. We're out. Stay. Doesn't matter to me. If you want to, you can even wander up to the embassy gates. <laughs> but don't expect to get inside. Right. Oh, we could wander up to the embassy gates. You know what? I think we go back and we talk to our Republic guy now. Um, we see what's going on with him. I just I just don't know. We helped that one guy get swoop upgrade. <laughs> so it's like, it has to be possible. We have these assholes still over here hanging out. Okay. I think it's just down and around to our right. We'll see how it goes. Cleaning droid? Are you really cleaning that well, though? Just kind of haphazardly running all over the place. It's time to get this on. Um, I say we check our uh, journal and just double check here. So star map Manan. Roland Wan, uh, the Republic diplomat, has indicated that he may know something about the ancient ruins. And there's the quest for the Star Forge. You know, we can try to figure out where it is. Manan swoop races. You've beaten the first round of races on Manan. We have a whole bunch of people that we can try to kill um, with the Jenna Haridan. Mission's brother. We have to go back to Kashyyyk, but when we were there, we got owned by Bandon. Um, we've won the second tier of races on Tatooine. So we just keep going until we figure this out kind of thing, you know. Uh, Nika won't listen, so that's why we want to win the races. Mandalorian raiders are going to be somewhere else. We got to find Dustal. We have to go back to um, Dantooine also at some point. But I guess if we're here and we're looking for this piece of the map, let's just go talk to these Republic guys and do... I don't... Are the Republic the people we should be working with more? Or should... I changed my mind. We're gonna... Can... No, the Sith aren't gonna help us find anything. Why would they? Because they're working for Malak. I'm just trying to find the balance here. We don't want to get into a fight with these people. Hey, what's up, Protocol Droid? I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along. Fun. 
And is there anything else we're missing for this region? I just want to check the map one more time. We've got the hotel over there. The shop. You guys... You don't have anything, right? The Sith continue to befoul the beauty of this watery world, but otherwise I'm keeping well. Ah, glad to hear it. Hey, this stuff's all for the Republic embassies, so can you just bill it to them? Of course, good soldier. I trust the Republic to pay its bills completely. Okay. So we, could we lie? The Selkath now seem more distant than before. They treat members of the Republic at arm's length only. I hope this does not negatively impact our trade. If they give too much deference to the Sith, then the monsters will simply come in and take over. But my feelings about the Sith are well known around Ato City. I shall spare you further outbursts. What may I do for you? I just want to double check. As you wish, human, my inventory contains the finest air attack equipment you can find in Manan, all of it far superior to the Zerka Corp Swill the Sith are so fond of. Well, once again, uh, how many does it show? How many we have here? I don't know. I think we have med packs for a minute. Just trying to look. Would it be under swoop? And am I going past it? This place doesn't seem like the place where we'd get anything like that. Um, you know what? I was interested at some point. There's a damn face mask that stops us from being like stunned or uh, affected. I think in some way that might help us against Bandon when we face him again. But you know what? Such is life. Is this the way we want to go? I'm so confused sometimes. No, that's the hotel. With Karth, and we got her. Uh, I don't... You know what? I want to... We're going to go back to our ship real quick. And switch characters. Okay, so... Who do I actually want on me here? Who who are crazy, PayPal? I, if we run into the dude... We might want some firepower. We might want some Jedi. I don't know. I'm going to go with these two, actually. I'm going to go with Jedi still. I don't care. But we're going to have Jahani with us. We're going to leave Bastila back at home. Take the old man. I like having another old man with us. Yeah, looking badass. Come on, guys. These are my enforcers for a moment. All them. Anything else going on here? Any other random encounters? Could we actually just transit back? Yes, thank you. And we were trying to go down this way. That's it. Oh, sh I want to get out towards the water. Let's see if there's anything. It's probably just an elevator or something that takes us underground. But I love water. It's starting to kind of be interesting here. Uh, you know, about like jumping around the planets. I'm seeing that... You, it's not just knocking out one planet, the next planet, the next planet. Where the hell are we, man? What am I doing? Oh, I missed this whole way over here, too, before we even go. That's perfect. Um, To east? Wait, no, no, because this is the Sith thing. Oh, no, this is the, um, the drug factory, right? This is the Colto Distribution Center. I don't see why we wouldn't come over here and talk. We don't have to kill anybody or do anything at the moment. Okay. Just making sure... Oh, who's the coordinator? Cellcat coordinator? I cannot sell you Colto unless you show me your purchase permit. Where can I get a purchase permit? One does not simply get a purchase permit. Such permits are brokered between intergalactic governments and the Otto City Export Authority. We do not sell unrefined Colto by the handful. We sell it by the ton. Go to a store if you wish to purchase Colto for personal use. All right, we're out, we're out. I'm far too busy to converse with the likes of you. And what do we have down this way then? Just an another door. Another closet. West Courtyard. Have we not been to the West Courtyard? Uh, no, there's somebody to talk to. Jody, it is you. And we have Jolie with us. I, I need your help. Laura, of all the people, how did you even know I'd let Kashik? I didn't. Nobody knew where you were, not even Sunring. But I heard the Selkath mention you and your friends. The Voice. Force has brought you to help us. Why? 
Whatever could be the matter, my dear? It's horrible, Jolie. Sunray has been arrested. The Sith have accused him of murder. Murder? But how? Murder? It's all a mistake, Jolie. Sunray isn't a murderer. Someone is trying to frame him. Calm down, Alora. Where's Sunray now? Sunray's being held at the Selkath courts. They won't let anyone in to see him. Please, go to the courts. Talk to the judges. Maybe the Selkath will listen to you. Don't worry, Alora. We'll get to the bottom of this and help Sunray. Somehow. Oh, okay. Let's check our journal. Like, that's fun. Just... I love it. Just running into things and, uh... You know, getting sidetracked. Alora has told Jolie that her husband has been imprisoned for the murder of a Sith woman. Alora is adamant that her husband is not responsible and has begged you and Jolie to help her prove his innocence. She says that you can talk to the judges in the court to help him uh, get him released, if possible. All right, let's talk to you, dude. Got something on your mind? Yeah, what's up with the Sunry guy? Uh, you mentioned something about your wife. Let's go through all of it. Well, no, we'll tell tell me about Sunry first, because that's why we're actually trying to talk to him. How do you know him? What? You think because I'm a hermit, I've always been a hermit? Just because I haven't seen Sunry for twenty years doesn't mean he's not a friend. A man could have changed a lot in that span right of time, though. To become a murderer, um, I can't see it. That's not the Sunray I know. He was a good man. Put me up in his home for a year back after I left the Order. War hero, too. Or so I hear. I wouldn't mind helping the fellow if we can. I owe it to him. Or you can be a young monkey lizard and ignore me, I guess. Well, I don't expect much these days. Young monkey lizard? You got something on your mind? Yeah, let's be a young monkey lizard. Uh, you mentioned something about your wife before. I don't want to talk about that. Okay. Sorry, maybe we can talk about it later. Well, I do. Spit it out. Um, I'm, I don't mean to pry, but... Yes, you do. You may mean well enough, but my private affairs are just that. Private. Let me tell you something. Once you've lived as many years as I this have, age you stuff. have yourself a long, long list of memories. If you're lucky, most of them will be good. If you're not, some will be bad. If you're really unlucky, some will be so bad you never want to be reminded of them again, ever. You'll go far away, to a place that doesn't hold any memories at all. And there you'll be happy just to forget and be forgotten. Uh, I would never do that. No, I want to hear what you have to say. Is that why you went to Kashyyyk? Run away, how pathetic and weak. Um... No, I want to hear what you have to say. I would never do that. I'm going to say is that... I'll ask. He doesn't want to talk about it, but is that why you went to Kashyyyk? <laughs> Partly. Maybe. I doubt I could ever explain it to you fully, even if I wanted to. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been in love? Truly in love, I mean, and not simple infatuation? Well, well, Bastila... Wait, no. Exactly. You're still at the beginning of your life. There will be women in your life. Perhaps many women. But if you're fortunate, you'll find love once. The Jedi, with their damnable sense of over-caution, would tell you love is something to avoid. Thankfully, anyone who's even partially alive knows that's not true. Aren't you worried about the dark side at all? That's what I've always thought. What's this uh, love advice from an old Jedi? That's what I've always thought. Love doesn't lead to the dark side. Passion can lead to rage and fear and can be controlled. But passion is not the same thing as love. Controlling your passions while being in love, that's what they should teach you to beware. But love itself will save you, not condemn you. Uh, Preach. Listen to me go on as if I had all the answers. What do I know of love anymore? I'm just a lonely old man who's not even a Jedi. I'm loving me some Choli. Sounds uh, like love is something you should have avoided because it left you in this horrible place. Uh, you talk too much, old man. You don't know anything. No, I want to hear what you have to say. Not even a Jedi? Uh, you mean not anymore, right? Not even a Jedi? You mean not anymore, right? Um, I'm going to say no. I want to hear what you have to say. You do, do you? I wouldn't listen too closely. I'm no authority on anything. I just think that the greatest things in life shouldn't be avoided because they come with a few complications. Love causes pain, certainly. Inevitably, love is going to lead to as much sorrow and regret as it does joy. I suppose there are perfect eternal loves out there, but I haven't seen any. How do you deal with a bad part of love is what determines your character. 
What determines the dark side's hold over you? Absolutely. Once again, middle path. You know, if if all life is just a cycle of suffering and attachment breeds suffering, the only way to avoid that is to like remove yourself from everything. You know, go into a cave and just meditate. Stay away from all people. Have no interactions. You know, that can be a tendency. But then, you're out of fear of living. You're avoiding living at all. You know, that's that's kind of the thing. So I don't know. I love it. I like that they're getting into it. You don't you don't think love can work? Maybe the Jedi just think you shouldn't take that risk. But then, yeah, but then what happens when you're presented with it and these people are like, so obviously all these Jedi can't handle their emotions, so once they're putting in an, an emotional state, they like they flip out. Kind of like overprotecting your children before you send them off to college. And then when you send them off to college, like they, uh, they just freak out. They start you know, doing everything and drinking too much and growing crazy because they weren't able to self-regulate in any way or never allowed to. That's a good thought, actually. Uh, maybe the Jedi just think you shouldn't take that risk. So what happened between you and your wife, then? I'm going to ask about the wife. I haven't changed my mind. I'm still not going to talk about it. You go and find your own love if you want to know so badly. I'll tell you one thing. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you and the one you love simply aren't meant to be together. The trick is to know when that is. To know when it's time to fight and when it's time to part ways. <laughs> there I go, waxing philosophical again. Love you, Somebody man. blast me already. Let's get going before I start talking in riddles, damn it. At this point, because I'll forget um, if people ask, I think he's my favorite character in this game. At the moment. There's lots of characters, but I like him, you know. Um, I think he's fun. And it's kind of weird, too, because sometimes I feel like Bioware has been a. Uh, Kind of playing around with old characters and they don't make them always as cool. I like it. I've always, I've liked their older characters truthfully. Though Win is like probably my favorite one um, from Origins. You know, let's see here where are we at on our map. Jolie Bindo also talked a bit about his wife and why he didn't agree with the Jedi credo that love should be forbidden. Okay, I know in the comments somebody was trying to say, hey, this is four thousand years before. And uh, the Jedi were a little different back then, and it wasn't quite... But in this, they're still saying 4,000 years before that J Jedi Credo that love should be forbidden. Is it forbidden? But they still believe it should be. So that ex maybe that extreme, you know, and they, they really put that into the institution later. But at least it, it's not like it doesn't exist. And I'm, I'm not crazy for thinking, like, why are we doing all this flirty stuff with... Um, Bastila, but maybe they're trying to teach us if I were to be like, oh yeah, let's start flirting she'll be like, hey, 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 hold on a minute that's not what the Jedi do, so we'll see, because I'm not doing it I'm not acting thirsty against her I'm not getting those responses, so uh, he spoke of the Jedi with a great deal of bitterness, in fact, you might be able to ask him about it later once you gained more experience once you've gained more experience, thank you, editor I would think, maybe I'm wrong okay, uh, who we got here Selkath Guard. Oh, this is into the... Let's check our map, which I was trying to do anyway. That's the holding cell, so this has got to be where he is, huh? But we're going to have to go talk to the judge, or do we just convince this guy to let him go? Uh, I don't want to do anything illegal, but I wouldn't mind... Can we even talk to the guy? Only the Arbiters are permitted into the prison cells, human. I'm sorry, I'll be going now. Yeah, we're not going to... We're not even going to reach for that door. Come on, lady. I could just switch characters, but I don't want to. If you've noticed, you play all this, like, I have my primary guy. Yeah, I have my crew with me, and I'll switch to him when I feel like I need to. But, um... So, oh. do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure I'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. What was all that about? Can't talk to him? A Connie mercenary. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of a Republic recruiting drive right now. I need to hire these mercenaries before they sign up with the Sith. Uh, why are you hiring mercenaries? Maybe you can hire me. In case you hadn't noticed, there's a war on. If we don't hire these mercs, the Sith will. Now, excuse me. I have to continue my recruitments. Okay. We have Selkath. Sure. Traveler. Hello, Traveler. I hear the Zerka Corp got kicked off of Kashyyyk by the locals. Good for them. At least someone's getting something back from them. Okay. Got that. Let's... I just want to check the map 
as I keep going here, so I'm not just running. We have holding cell. We they're not showing us yet. So either way is as good as the next. Let's go down this path. What do we got? Uh, Nilko Boas. Human, I wish to speak to you if you have the time. Yeah, come on, dude. Greetings, human. My name is Nilko Boas. I hope you are enjoying yourself here in Otto City. Our floating city is beautiful, is it not? It's truly a wonder to behold. Eh, I seem better. Uh, you're a lot more friendly than most of the Selkath here. Cut the small talk. What do you want? Um... You've, you're a lot more friendly than most of the Selkath here. I'm going to say that. I'm afraid you speak the truth, human. My people are suspicious of outsiders. They fear the destruction of our beautiful planet. The beauty of Manan is delicate. Our, our ecosystem is complex and fragile, and I fear for the preservation of my planet. What are you talking about? Cut the small talk. What are you talking about? There is a task I would ask, human. Jedi. I fear there is nowhere else I can turn. What do you need? Rest assured there will be ample reward for this human. I only re require information, nothing more. The Republic has been hiring mercenaries, many more than usual. As an official of the Selkath people, this is a great concern to me. I only seek the reason for this change in Republic policy. Forget it, I won't spy on the Republic. Uh, why do you need me for this? Why do you need me for this? I cannot trust anyone else. The Republic obviously wants to keep their secret. I've inquired often as to their purpose and have been rebuffed. The Sith cannot be trusted to give me an accurate report of events. They will twist the truth so that it furthers their own goals. And the mercenaries are well aware of the high wages the Republic is paying. They would not report anything that might slow the flow of credits into their accounts. Why would they? Uncover the truth behind the Republic's actions, and I will pay you 500 credits. We could look into this to calm the Selkath's fears. Though I doubt the Republic would be involved in anything illegal. Be careful here, kid. Start poking your nose in a place it doesn't belong, and you might not like what you find. Please, see if you can find the answers I seek. Find why the Republic is hiring so many mercenaries. Find where they are going. Find why they do not return. I'll look into it. I'll do it, but only for money. You know what? Here's the... Isn't this the trick? We're, okay, no spoilers, please. I, I don't know why I always say that. It should just be implied. Um, I'm just talking rhetorically in, in my brain through this. We're landing on a planet that's neutral, you know, and we have to keep the peace. Like, we... I know Sith... Sith are the bad guys, and Republic are the good guys, right? Well, is that always true, or is it situational? Are the, uh, It's yin and yang and all that stuff, too. It's like, we have to... I'm not going to trust that the Republic are totally on the up and up. And and if we just ignore it, then we just let them become more corrupt and just become everything that... It's just all false stuff. So, yeah, we can't turn your face from the truth. So I'll, we'll find out. I'll look into it for you, Nilko. Once you discovered some information, please come speak to me. Believe it or not, I am a friend of the Republic. Whatever the truth, I shall do my best to protect the Republic's interests and those of the Selkath, of course. I kind of believe that. That's... I. I think they're setting us up with a nice little morality thing. Uh, so Jolie, obviously, he talked a little bit about why his wife and he didn't agree with the Jito Credo on Forbidden Love. That's purple, though, like we didn't read it. Uh, and Manan, the cell Kath Nilko is suspicious about the Republic hiring mercenaries. He claims to be a friend of the Republic and is merely seeking to find out, unless he's playing us, merely seeking to find out if something is wrong. He says he will reward you if you find out why they've been hiring too many lately. Too many. Uh, come on, guys. Tioa, I believe. All right. Uh, Idorian mercenary. Are what the hell are we? Are we like in a? We're in a cantina. I feel like. Let's get some talking on. What's up, mercenary? I am not for hire. Perhaps the Mandalorian or the Achani can help you. Achani. Though they lack the stomach for certain jobs. I'll keep saying Achani. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. What do you have against the? Achani and the Mandalorians. A mercenary who's not for hire? That's strange. Uh, what do you have against the Achani and the Mandalorians? They lack the resolve to do what needs to be done. The Achani believe in a non-existent warrior code of honor, and the Mandalorians prize credits above bloodshed. But I am Iridorian. Honor comes from slaying your opponent, 
And the true reward of any job is the taste of your foe's dying blood on your tongue. All right, all right. Uh, we'll be going. <laughs> uh, let's ask. I want to ask you some ask questions. Whatever you wish, though you may find some of my answers distasteful. Why is the Republic hiring so many mercenaries? I am seeking an ancient star map or some alien ruins. On second thought, I don't really want to talk to you. Does he know anything about the Republic? Perhaps you should ask them. The Republic prefers not to deal with my kind. Though maybe they need an Iridorian to finish the job. And do the what mercenaries must be done. they hire must be failing, as they are never heard from again. Ooh. That is all I know. Is there more you wish to ask? Are they hiring them and then killing them to prevent them from going over to the Sith? Like, if you... Which would just be, like, evil? You know? Uh, I'm seeking an ancient... St you know, I don't... I'm gonna ask him. He might know some stuff. Manan has no such things, unless the Selkath have them hidden away at the bottom of the ocean. Exactly. Is there more you would know? That's where we are. We're going. Yes, I'm not surprised. There are a few on this watery world who feel comfortable in my presence. I, we might run into his ass somewhere. What do you think? Mandalorian mercenary. If you're here to offer me a job, I'm not interested right now. I got so many offers, I can't keep up as it is. Maybe that Iridorian skull slacker at the bar, or the Ajani nerf herder cowering in the corner is available. Right, right. Uh, can I ask you some questions? What do you have against the Ajani? Uh, don't you hate the Republic for defeating your people? Let's ask that, I guess. I'm a realist. It was war, after all. And even though the Republic destroyed my people, the leaders of the Armada were Revan and Malak. So I hate the Sith just as much. Mm. And with this war, there's plenty of opportunity to take bloody vengeance against both sides and make a nice profit along the way. We Mandalorians are always practical that way. Not oh. like those bloodthirsty Eridorians yeah. or those... It's without the helmet, it throws shiny. me off sometimes. Is there anything else you want? Even if it says Mandalorian, I'm like Mandalorian. Uh... Can I ask you some questions? I guess. What do you have against the Achani or the Iridorians? Well, nothing. Except that the Achani are a bunch of fade dancers prancing in a battle with tiny weapons not fit for Mandalorian children. They hardly wear any armor because it slows them down when they run away. But the Achani are better than the Iridorians. Those savages keep hacking at fallen foe even after death. Mutilating the corpse out of pure bloodlust. I even heard they'll turn on each other when the battle fever hits. Who wants to work with someone like that? I could pretty much name my price right now, especially since the Republic's so desperate for mercs all of a sudden. And why is the Republic hiring so many mercs? They ain't saying, but the price is sure right. Of course, I haven't heard of anyone coming back, so I'm guessing the job ain't easy. That's sketchy, um, bro. So why are you telling me? If you're going, go. Yeah. I don't need a status report. I love that. Yeah, you don't need to tell me. I love that they wrote that in. Greetings, human. My name is Shalis. I've heard said that you are no friend of the Sith. Is that true? The Sith are a blight upon the galaxy. My allegiances are my own businesses. Business? Actually, I kind of like the Sith. They've got style. Um, my allegiances are my own business. You are wise to be so guarded, human, but my sources are rarely wrong. And they have informed me that you are no friend of Malak's people. Though I suspect we have little in common, human, I share your dislike for the Sith. They have brought grief to my family. I am not a fool. I know the Sith do not respect our laws as the Republic does. Were it up to me, I would do everything in my power to aid the Republic in the war against Malak. But intergalactic politics stay my hand. Still, I know the Sith are evil, and I fear what they will do to my people and what they may be doing now. What are you talking about? Just, what are you talking about? Many of the Selkath have vanished, human. Most who have gone missing are on the cusp of adulthood. The youth who will someday lead this planet, my own daughter, Shasa, is among those who have disappeared. These disappearances coincide with the arrival of the Sith, and I cannot dismiss the connection. The Sith are up to something, human. Something sinister. I can feel it. You want me to investigate those disappearances? What's in it for me? Yeah, let's investigate. But... I don't, no spoilers, I think it's the Republic are doing something they think is for the greater good and they're just like messing things up. And how can things be balanced here? How, you know, maybe they feel like the Selkath are evil for, for selling to both sides and keeping that balance. It's like, no, we have to take it all or else, you know, the Sith are going to get it. It's the only way. I don't know, but we're going to investigate. I will give you 500 credits if you can uncover the fate of my daughter and the other missing Selkath youth. Not much, but all I can afford. 
I have no official authority in this matter, and my own and my personal wealth is not vast. There is no one else I can turn to, human. The Republic agents are too closely watched by the Sith, and the Otto city authorities cannot act without proof of Sith involvement. Uh, I better get some better things to do than looking for missing tad tadpoles, right? No, we're going. We're, we'll do it, Shayless. I cannot imagine where to begin the investigation, though I suspect the Sith did not act alone. Perhaps the Offworlders and the Mercenary Enclave know something. If you learn anything, human, report back to me at once. If you uncover the fate of my daughter and the other missing Selkath youth, I will reward you as promised. Sounds good. So you have been approached by a Selkath named Shalis. I'm just going to pronounce it that way. He claims that many young Selkath have been have been going missing, including his daughter Shasa. He wishes to hire you to find out what has been happening to them. There's more going on on Manan here than what I was uh, expecting, actually. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. Okay. Are you hiring for the Republic or the Sith? Neither. Then why are you wasting my time? There's big money to be made here. I can't risk missing a job offer because I'm yapping with you. Yeah, well, too bad, fool. Who? Oh, oh, Dwan? You're new around here, aren't you? Oh, she's my a little tipsy. Dwan. Care to buy a Sith girl a drink? That is, unless you're one of those simpering Republic soldiers. Uh, I'm Idaho. I'm just here to check out the swoop races. I don't have much use for the Republic. I'm searching for ancient ruins. I hear you Sith are taking an interest in the Selkath youth. Um, I'm Idaho. I'm just here to check out the swoop well, races. Some of the soldiers like to go and bet on the swoops on their day off, but this planet is bad enough without mingling with the locals. It isn't easy here, you know. Not with all the Republic soldiers walking the streets while we sit and do absolutely nothing. Manic should send a fleet in and conquer this whole sector, Kolto or no. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind, you know? Uh, okay, well, I'm not going to mention the star map. Uh, I'm, I will mention the youth. We Sith are interested in a lot of things. If you're smart, you'll stay out of Sith business. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. But I persuade I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind, you know? All right. Um, yeah, we are good then. I'll be going now. Oh, I get it. I get it a little bit wild, and you want to hold it against me. Come on. What's the matter? Afraid I'll drink you under the table? Hey, if you're not man enough to keep up, who needs you? Seems I'm not ladylike enough for some men. Well, I may be a woman, but I'm still a soldier. Barkeep, bring me another round. Hey, no, I'm all for it. You, you be you. Absolutely. I am not a discriminator. Like, well, I'm, I'm over here looking at this guy who can't handle his shit. He's over here, like, trying to throw up, I think, the whole time. Yeah, they won't even let us talk to him. Who are you? Can we talk to the bartender? Greetings, human. There are a few places in Nato City where off-worlders are welcome. But here, they are at least tolerated. I'd like to see what's in stock. First of all, let's see what's in stock. I'm certain you will see that all of my inventory is of superior quality. Hyper battle stimulants. Vitality, duration, 102 minutes for attack and damage. Though, I mean, yes. these Those are awesome. I just don't want to spend the money on them yet, though. Um, But, I mean, that could be the way we get through Darth Bandon if we have to, when we run into him again. But if, you know, if I keep dying, I'd just remember I have it at the bar here and we can run back. Who else we got? We got Jahani, we're here, Dwan, Shaylis. Did we catch everybody in this place? Vic no, now we can talk to Vigmo. Hey, Clear out. You're cramping my style with the ladies. Perfect. I I think so. And we talked to No, Gonton Yas, we haven't talked to. Yes. What's up? I hope you're here to play some Pazak. Oh. I don't come here looking for sparkling conversation. We are not. Um, how about some questions though? I prefer to make my credits gambling, but I never turn my back on an opportunity. Maybe this can be a profitable exchange for both of us. Uh, oh, yeah. Do you know why the Republic is hiring so many mercenaries? What do you think of the Sith? Um, I'm going to ask a couple things here. How, first of all, the, why are they hiring so many mercenaries lately? Hey, here's an idea. Why don't you ask the mercs? Better yet, go down to the embassy and ask the Republic. You don't waste my time now, or you got some more questions. Uh, let's see. Does he know anything about the Sith interested in the Selkath youth? Uh, I might know a little bit about this, but telling you might put my life at risk. And that don't come cheap. See, uh, I can give you a leg up on investigating what the Sith are up to. 
but it'll cost you 200 credits. Uh, he's hustling me. Uh, how about, let's go here. I think I'll be going, Force Persuade, but I'm your friend. You want to tell me what you know? I'm Force Persuade. Yes. Yes, I suppose I do. I want to tell you everything I know. I don't know what the Sith are actually up to, but I know who could tell you. The Iridorian mercenary. Ooh. Spends all day in the mercenary enclave, and everyone gives him a wide berth. The Sith were uh, cozying up to him real good a while ago. Go speak to him about this, but be careful. Them Iridorians have a nasty reputation. Nice. Thanks for the tip. That's all I know. You want any more info on the Sith and their schemes? Go talk to the Iridorian. You don't waste my time now, or you got some more questions. I think we are out of here for a minute. I am not interested in so anything clear else. clear out already. I, we'll take a little dark side. We'll take a little dark side. I'm, I'm so squeaky clean, like, we got the info we wanted. Let's see what's up with, uh... I am not for hire. Perhaps the Mandalorian or the Achani can help you. Though they lack the stomach for certain jobs. Now this guy's crazy, I'm gonna try to be respectful, though. Um... I have some questions. Ask whatever you wish, though you may find some of my answers distasteful. I've heard... Uh, yeah, why are the kids going missing? Is there just... there's no other thing. Yeah. Have you heard anything about the young Selkath going missing? Perhaps. But my business with the Selkath is my own. Force persuade, but I am your friend. You want to tell me? No, I'm not doing that. Maybe the Selkath would be interested in your activities? How many credits would it take to make your business my business? Persuade, maybe I'll just gut you like a Selkath preparing an Orcana Ray for lunch? Is, is that what he's going to respect? Because he's a bloodlust fool? I, he doesn't care about credits. Um, maybe the Selkath would be interested in your activities? Or do we pursue... I'm going to persuade. Your threats are mere words, nothing more. Here on Manan, such bloodshed is not permitted. As I have been told time and time again. I tire of this conversation, and I tire of your company, human. In fact, I tire of this entire weakling world. The air reeks of sea salt and the falling cowardice of the fish people. I am not for hire. Ask whatever you wish. Um, I'm jumping into it again. Perhaps. I don't want to force persuade, but what if this? What if I? How many credits would it take to make your business my business? This is the way of this water world, is it not? Pathetic creatures bargaining with I credits so. for what they cannot seize through strength. My people are warriors, not sniveling merchants. Okay. But perhaps this world has made me soft. Okay. I will play this role, distasteful as it is. For 500 credits, I will tell you what you wish to know. Uh, I don't have that much. Uh, persuade, maybe I'll just gut you. Make it 200 and we have a deal. I humble myself to change information for mere credits, and you insult me with this game of offers and counter-offers? On my home world, such insult will result in death. I tire of this conversation. Okay, let's go again. Can we still I talk to him? I am not for hire. Ask I'm, I'm going to jump through it. Let's go. Uh, Perhaps. But my... Force Persuade, maybe the Selkath. How many credits? Let's go this credits. Is the way of... no, I, perhaps that this was has made me weird. Soft. You have to push I through will it. Play... Um, I don't have it. I'm not going to say that. We're, we're just going to pay it, even though I have a thousand. I don't care, because I get 500 back for it. It's a trade, but it's experience. Um, the task paid well, but was boring. And beneath me. I was told to lure the Selkath youth to the Sith Embassy. Nothing more. I lied, I threatened, I promised, and I brought the most promising youth of the fish people to the Sith. So you tricked these innocents into going to the Sith base. And then what did you do with them? And there I left them. To what purpose I neither know nor care. Perhaps when the Sith learn I have betrayed their secret, they will try to kill me. I would welcome the excitement. Sounds like the Sith are trying to win this planet by corrupting the Selkath youth. Much more subtle than their usual methods. Is there more you would ask of me, human? No, actually. I don't care about... I don't care about any of it. We're out. Um... Yes, I'm not surprised. There are a few on this watery world who feel comfortable in my presence. Right on. So we lost 500 credits, we got some experience, and we got a journal entry. I want to talk to this, uh... Who's the fish man here? Let's check our journal real quick. 
Missing Selkath, you've been approached by Selkath, right? You have discovered that the Sith have been hiring mercenaries to been hiring mercenaries to lure the young Selkath into their base for some questionable purpose. More answers would seem to lie inside the Sith embassy. Let's talk to Nilko, though. Have you news for me, human? Have you discovered why the Republic is hiring? Oh, no, that's... Uh, no, I'm looking into it. Perfect. Who? So this will Shalus, yes. Human, you have returned. Have you the information for me? Have you discovered the fate of the missing Selkath youth? Have you news of my daughter, Shasa? Not yet, I'm investigating. I have information... I have information for you. Excellent. You have done well. What have you learned? The Sith hired a Dorian mercenary to lure the Selkath youth to the Sith base. I see. This information is useful for a start, but it does little to explain the truth of this matter. We must know what purpose the Sith have for these youth. Are they prisoners of the Sith? Are they even still alive? I must know more, human. I must know what has happened to my daughter. I agree. We got it figured out. Um... What do you suggest I do? I cannot officially ask you to enter the Sith base, human. That would be a violation of Otto City's strict neutrality laws. However, I fear such a brazen act may be the only way to learn the truth. But entering the base will not be easy, and should you be captured or killed, I will have to disavow any knowledge of your actions. Ooh, will I infiltrate it? Um, I'll infiltrate infiltrate the Sith base. Shalus, forget it. I'm not about to break into the Sith base looking for your web fingered offspring. No, we'll, we'll break in, but we just don't know how. I wish I could be of more help, human. I will wait here. Return to me when you have something more to report. Indeed. Okay, well, let's cruise around here. We still have some more stuff to check out here. Um, I want to get into the Sith base. We have a ton to do, and we're going to keep doing it in the next episode.